Do you want to learn how to make a cinematic photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now? Then stay with me, I'll show you how. You're welcome to another video on this channel. Before we get started, if you're new here, consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button for more awesome videos like this. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Well, in order to pull this off, we need images. I've imported my to my media. You can do the same by importing yours. So, if you've done that, let's get started. Let's start by importing the images. You can highlight and import them at the same time, or you can drag them down to the timer one after the other. Right click on the first image and go to crop and zoom or you can click on that icon right there and it will take you to crop and zoom. Let's change the ratio to 16, 9 and then we can capture the area we want to capture and click OK. Do the same to all the other images one after the other. Alright, we're done with cropping the images. Next, let's highlight all the images. Right click and copy. Move to the second track on the timeline. Click on it and right click and paste all the images there. Now we have our images and two tracks on the timeline. Double click on the first image and go to transform. Change the scale to 70 and click OK. Go to effects, search for border, drag and drop the border on the image, double click on it and go to setting and you can make some changes there. Let's change the distance to 4, the blur to 5 and let's click OK. Right click and copy effects, then highlight the other images and paste effects on those images and the same effect on the first one will apply to all the images. Now double click on the image, go to animation and click on pause. Click on the first image and click on pause to apply it. Do the same to the second image. Click on the image and click on pause and it will apply the animation to the images. And you can make adjustments. You can adjust it the way you want the movement to be. So let's make some adjustment here. Let's check out and see what we have. If you're satisfied with it, you click OK. Now the second animation, this is how it's going to be. So in order to pull that off, let's click on the image, click on animation and customize. Move the playhead 5 frames forward and change the rotate to do minus 10%. Then move back the playhead to the beginning and change the scale to 200%. Then move it 5 frames forward and expand the scale till the frame fits the screen. Just like this. Now this is what we have. Now let's go to the next image. This is how the animation is going to be. So let's add a keyframe. Now let's take the last image. Let's move the last image to the top. Now we have three images on this. So let's apply, let's add a keyframe to each of the images from the beginning. So click on each of the image and you click on add a keyframe to add a keyframe to all the three images. Now move the playhead five frames forward and click on the first image. Change the scale to 70%. Click on the second image and the third image and change the scale to 70%. Do them one after the other. Move the playhead forward 5 frames and add a keyframe. Move it 5 frames forward again and go to position Y and change it to 250 or 300%. And it will take the picture out of the frame just like this. Move the playhead to the last keyframe and click on the second image and add a keyframe. Likewise the third image, also click on it and add a keyframe. Now move the playhead forward 5 frames and click on the second image. Restore the, the scale and also click on the third image and restore the scale. And we will have exactly something like this. So now we're done with our animation. Now let's go back to the first images, the ones we use for our background. Double click on it and click on the last keyframe on from the first image. Now click on the second image, the down image and slide it right there. Do the same to the second image. Now go back to the first one that is on the first timeline. Now go to effects and search for square block. Drag and drop it on the first parts of the image. Double click on it 
and you can make some adjustment right here let's change the size to three and make some adjustment there now right click on that image and copy effects go to the second image and paste the effect right there and the two other images highlight them and paste the effects and the effect will be applied to all the images now let's check out what we have as you can see we have a blur background exactly so there's one thing we need to do go back to the first track or click on the image the second part of the image and go to crop and zoom and let's add some pan and zoom to the image go to the second image and go to the second part and do the same with that i think we're done with our animation so go to transition and apply some transition to the slideshow just drag and drop in between the slideshow just to spice it up i will have something like this so we can round up by applying some sound effects or just music go to music drag and drop a music of your choice you can crop it reduce it just adjust it and make sure it's okay if you're satisfied with it that's it so you can go back one more time and go through it and make sure you make any necessary adjustment to it and if you're satisfied with what you have then congratulations you just made a cinematic for the slideshow and you can apply this to any type of video you can go back and slow it down and just follow it and if you have any question, any difficulty in doing it, just leave it in the comment below and I will attend to it. Now we're done with this tutorial. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You can check out this other video that I'm sure you're going to love it. Just click on it and watch. Bye bye. I'm out.